Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang problems involving probability of independent and dependent events. Make sure na napanood nyo na yung previous lesson bago ito para mas madali nyong masundan ang lesson na ito. So yung link noong lesson na yun is nilagay ko sa video description. So please check on that. Let us recall the important formula na ating gagamitin. So, for independent event, we have probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. And for dependent event, we have probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A times probability of B given A. Take note that probability of A intersection B of independent and dependent events is different from probability of A intersection B in a not mutually exclusive event. So, sa not mutually exclusive event, let's say we have A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and B we have 3 and 4 and the sample space we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Yung A intersection B sa not mutually exclusive, ito yung common elements of a and B. So, dito makikita natin ang common element nila is 3. So, probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 over 6. Samantala, sa probability of A intersection B in an independent and dependent event, so meron tayo rito two separate events that should happen at the same time. Okay? So, magkaiba yung dalawang ito kaya kailangan na alam nyo yung pagkakaiba. So, let's proceed with the given problems. Two microchips are to be tested out of 15 microchips, six of which are effective. What is the probability that... Okay, so we are going to answer the following questions one by one. Letter A, the first is effective and the second is not effective. So let's say E represents effective, N represents not effective. So probability of effective intersection not effective kung saan una ang effective is equal to probability of E times probability of N given E. So, bakit itong ginamit natin na formula? Dahil ang problem ay nagre-represent ng dependent event. Okay? So, bakit sila dependent? Dahil two chips are to be tested. So, kapag kumuha ka ng isang microchip, syempre at natest mo na, hindi mo na siya ibabalik. Okay? So, kaya pagkuha mo ng pangalawang chip, maapektuhan niya yung bilang ng microchips. Okay? So, is equal to probability of effective. So, meron tayong 6 na effective out of 15 times probability of not effective given that the first is effective. So, meron na lamang tayo, so meron tayong 9 na hindi effective. Okay? Bakit 9? Dahil 6 ang effective natin dito. Okay, so 9 over 14. So, bakit naging 14? Siyempre, hindi mo na ibabalik yung isang microchip na natest mo, kaya 15 will become 14. Okay, so after that, we can now uh, solve for the probability. So, cancel itong uh, 6 at saka 15, parehong divisible by 3, kaya naging 2 over 5, and then times 9 over 14, and then... Uh, pwede pang makancel yung 2 at saka 14. So, this will become 1 and 7. And then, after that, multiply. 1 times 9 is 9. 5 times 7 is 35. So, the probability is 9 over 39. 9 over 35. Next, number 2. The first is not effective and the second is effective. So, dito binaligtad natin ng una naman is not effective and the second is effective. So, kapag binaligtad natin yung dalawa, still magiging pareho ang ating sagot dyan. Uh, para makita nyo siya, probability of N times probability of E given N. So, ang not effective natin is 9 over 15 times ang effective natin ay 6 out of 14 na lamang. Okay? Is equal to 9 over 15 will become 3 fifths. 6 over 14 will become 3 over 7. Okay? And then 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 7 is 35. Next letter C. One is effective and the other is not. Sa given na ito, hindi mahalaga yung order. So kahit ano yung mauna. That, therefore, probability of N intersection E plus probability. So ang kukunin nating probability ay yung probability of N intersection E kung saan una yung not effective plus probability of uh, effective, intersection, not effective, una naman yung effective. Since ang probability ng dalawang ito ay pareho, so kailangan lamang natin i-multiply yung probability ng isa sa 2. Okay? So, from the previous example na solve na natin siya, we have 2 times 9 over 35 is equal to 18 over 35. 
Letter D, both are effective. So, probability of effective intersection effective is equal to probability of effective times probability of effective given effective. So, from here, ang effective natin is 6 out of 15 times. So, dahil effective pa rin yung pangalawa, kailangan natin i-minus, kailangan tayo mag-minus ng 1 sa 6. Okay? So, that is, that is 5. And then, yung 15, syempre, mababawasan din ng isa, kaya 14 na lamang. Kasi nga, pareho raw effective. So, 6 over 15 will become 2 over 5. And then, times 5 over 14. So, cancel yung 5. And then, cancel din yung 2 at saka 14. Kaya, naging 1 at saka 7 siya. Ang matitira ay 1 over 7. Letter E, both are not effective. So, probability of not, intersection not, is equal to probability of not times probability of not given not effective. Is equal to, ang not effective natin is 9 over 15 times, dahil parehong not effective siya, so yung 9 magiging 8, syempre yung 15 magiging 14. Okay? So, 9 over 15 will become 3 fifths, and then 8 over 14 will become 4 over 7, and then multiply 3 times 4 is 12, 5 times 7 is equal Equal to 35. Next, number 2. When two dice are rolled together, what is the probability that... Let us find the following probabilities. So, itong problem na ito is an independent event dahil ang dalawang dice ay separate from one another. So, hindi nila maapektuhan ang uh, bilang ng sample space. Kasi nga, kapag nag-roll ka ng die, still, ang pareho nilang sample space ay 6 pa rin. Hindi naman kasi mababawasan ang faces ng die if you roll them. Letter A, the first is add and the second is a multiple of 3. So, dahil uh, ito ay independent event, itong gagamitin nating formula. We'll, we just multiply the probability of add and the probability of multiple of 3. Okay, so M represents multiple of 3, O represents add. Okay, so ang ating add number sa 1 to 6, okay, kasi 6 ang faces ng die, so we have 3 out of 6, kasi nga ang add natin is 1, 3, and 5. Times probability of multiple of 3, so ang multiple of 3 naman natin is 3 and 6 lamang, so that is 2 over 6. So 3 over 6 will become 1 half, 2 over 6 will become 1 third, and then multiply, the answer is 1 over 6. Letter B, the first is a multiple of 3 and the second is add. So, una naman daw rito yung multiple of 3, pangalawa yung add. So, dahil binaligtad lang naman natin sila, still, ang sagot natin is 1 over 6. Next, letter C, 1 is add and the second is a multiple of 3. So, sa letter C, hindi mahalaga yung order, kaya ipa-plus natin yung probability of M intersection O kung saan una ang multiple of 3 plus probability of O intersection M kung saan una yung add. So, dahil pareho ang probability ng dalawang ito, kukunin lang, na, kukunin lang natin yung probability ng isa at i-multiply sa 2. So, based on the previous one, na-solve na natin siya, which is 1 over 6, and then i-multiply na lang natin siya sa 2, ang sagot ay 1 third. Letter D, both are multiple of 3. So, probability of M intersection M is equal to probability of M times probability of M. So, ang ating multiple of 3 ay 2 out of 6 times, uh, dahil multiple of 3 yung pangalawa, 2 out of 6 pa rin. Okay, so hindi na bago yung ating denominator dahil ito ay independent event. So, 1 third times 1 third is equal to 1 over 9. Letter C, neither is Add. So, dahil neither is add, we have probability of add complement intersection add complement is equal to probability of add complement times probability of add complement. So, kung ang add numbers natin ay 3, yung hindi natin add numbers, yung hindi add numbers, syempre ay 3 ren, Kasi nga, anim ang ating sample space. So, 3 out of 6 times 3 out of 6 is equal to 1 half times 1 half is equal to 1 fourth. Next problem, number 3. Two leaders will be chosen from a group of 4 males and 6 females. Their names are written on similar sheets of paper and drawn randomly in succession. What is the probability that... Okay, so let us answer the following probabilities. So this uh, problem illustrates probability of dependent events. Okay, so bakit siya dependent events? Siyempre, two leaders will be chosen. So kapag nakapili ka ng unang leader... Pag bunot mo ng pangalawang leader, syempre hindi mo ibabalik yung pangalan ng una mong nabunot. 
Okay, so that means maapektuhan yung bilang ng ating sample space when you draw the second name. Okay? So letter A, the first is a male and the second is a female. So una yung male, pangalawa yung female, is equal to probability of M times probability of F given M. So ang ating probability of male, we have 4 out of 10, kasi 10 ang ating total. So 4 plus 6 is 10. Times probability of female given male, we have 6 ang female natin out of 9 na lamang dahil ito ay dependent event. Mababawasan yung ating uh, bilang ng sample space. So, is equal to 4 over 10 will become 2 fifths, 6 over 9 will become 2 thirds, and then multiply, the answer is 4 over 15. Letter B, the first is a female and the second is a male. So, dahil binaligtad lamang natin siya, still ang sagot dito is 4 over 15. So, para mas makita nyo yung solution, probability of F times probability of M given F is equal to ang probability of female is 6 out of 10 times yung male natin given F is 4 over 9. Okay, so nabawasan yung ating denominator. So, this will become 3 fifths times 4 over 9 is equal to 1 fifths times 4 thirds, cancel yung 3 at saka 9. So, magiging 4 over 15 pa rin siya. Letter C, 1 is a male. So, dito hindi mahalaga yung order kasi asabi is uh, 1 is a male. Siyempre, yung isa ay female. So, probability of female intersection male plus probability of male intersection female. Okay, ipa-plus natin ang probability ng dalawa. So, yung probability ng dalawang ito is equal, kaya i-multiply lang natin sa 2 ang 4 over 15. So, this is equal to 8 over 15. Letter D, both are males. So, probability of M intersection M is equal to probability of M times probability of M given M. So, ang male natin ay 4 out of 10. At dahil male pa rin yung pangalawa natin, syempre mababawasan yung male. And at the same time, mababawasan yung denominator natin. So, magiging 9 siya. 4 over 10 will become 2 fifths. 3 ninths will become 1 third. And then multiply, we have 2 over 15. Letter E, both are females naman, so meron tayong probability of F, intersection F is equal to probability of F times probability of F given F is equal to, ang probability of F natin is 6 over 10 times probability of F given F is 5 over 9. So dahil pareho lang sila, mababawasan yung female natin kaya magiging 5, syempre yung denominator bababawasan din. So 6 tenths will become 3 fifths, 5 ninths at the Pareho pa rin. And then, cancel yung 5 at saka 5. Tsaka cancel din yung 3 at saka 9. So, matitira is 1 times 3 is equal to 1 third. Next problem number 3. A bag of jelly beans contains 7 red, 5 green, 3 yellow, and 5 orange jelly beans. If a jelly is drawn, eaten before drawing the second jelly bean, what is the probability that let us answer the following probabilities. This uh, problem is an independent event. Dahi, this problem is a dependent event dahil dito sa condition na ito. A jelly is drawn eaten. So dahil kinain na siya, hindi mo na maibabalik. Okay? Kaya maapektuhan yung bilang ng ating sample space. Letter A, the first is red and the second is orange. So, probability of red intersection orange is equal to probability of red times probability of orange given red. So, ang ating total ay 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 20. So, 20 ang denominator natin dito and then ang red is 7. So, 7 over 20 times ang orange natin is 5. Okay, so 5 over 19 na lamang dahil sila ay dependent event. So, this will become, uh, cancel yung 5 at saka 20, magiging se uh, 1 at saka 4 sila. So, 7 over 4 times 1 over 19 is equal to 7 over 76. Letter B, the first is green and the second is yellow. So, probability of green intersection yellow is equal to probability of green times probability of yellow intersection green. Okay, so ang green natin is 5 out of 20 times ang yellow is 3 out of 19 na lamang. Mababawasan ng isa. And then, 5 over 20 will become 1 fourth. And then, times 3 over 19, we have 3 over 76. I-multiply nyo lang yung numerator sa numerator, denominator sa denominator. 
Letter C, one is yellow and the other is orange. So dahil hindi mahalaga yung order dito, we have probability of Y intersection O plus probability of O intersection Y is equal to kung walang tayo ng probability nung isa and then i-multiply sa 2. So let's say we have probability of Y times probability of O given Y, ita times natin siya sa 2. So ang yellow natin is 3 out of 20. Ang orange natin is 5 and then out of 19 na lamang siya. So, 2 times, uh, cancel yung 5 at saka 20, magiging 4 at 1 siya. And then, cancel din itong 2 at saka 4. Okay, so pwede tayong mag-cancel dito sa labas. So, magiging 3 over 2 na lamang siya kasi magiging 1 ito. And then, times 1 over 19 is equal to 3 over 38. Letter D, one is red and the other is orange. So, dito hindi rin mahalaga yung order, kaya probability of red intersection orange plus probability of orange intersection red is equal to twice the probability of one of this. Okay, so magiging 2 times. Ang probability of red natin is 7 over 20, ang orange ay 5 over 19. Okay, and then we have 2 times, cancel yung 5 at saka 20, so magiging 1 at 4 sila. And then, ito ring 2 at saka 4 ay cancel. Kaya magiging 7 over 2 times 1 over 19 is equal to 7 over 38. Letter E, both are green. So, probability of green, intersection green is equal to probability of green times probability of green given green. So, green is 5 over 20 times 4 over 19 na lang dahil parehong green sila, mababawasan yung green and at the same time, mababawasan yung ating total. Okay, so 5 over 20 will become 1 4 times 4 over 19, cancel yung 4, magiging 1 over 19 na lang siya. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you'll learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye!